Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna show you one of the most beautiful acoustic blueses I've ever played. It's called Weeping Willow Blues by Blind Boy Fuller. And by the way, he is one of my favorite acoustic blues players ever. And at first let's listen to it. As you could have noticed, there are a lot of interesting music elements here. The chord progression is pretty uncommon, for example, A major, D minor, and of course this tricky turnaround. However, it's not that hard, and you can play it even if it's one of your first acoustic blueses. So let's get into it. So at first I should say that in original recording there is a capo on the third fret, but we are going to play without it. Let me show you the main riff, it sounds like this. So we play slide, the G string, open the D and the B, and we fret it again, and the G string. And then bass, bass. Here we change our chord and here we play D minor. So open the string again on the bass and then quick hammer on on the F. And then change your bass. Open high string, the B, bass again, and return on the A. So the first two bars sound like this. One, two, three, four. Then repeat what we played on the A chord, again. So the first four bars look like this. One, two, three. Fifth bar, we play the same way we played it before. The D string with this quick hammer on. Bass changing, the B string, the D and the A again. And second time we play, we change melody and uh, we play not like this, we play the high E string again. And it sounds nice because first time you play pretty nice variation here. So and we returned to the A and we play again. And the first eight bars sound like this. One, two, three, four. Now we are gonna play the bass line here. One, two, three, one. It sounds like this. And we play fret four on the A string and zero, one, two on the D. We came to A7 chord. Bass on the low E string here. We play it with 
high string then the B string and high string two times again and then we play low E two times again then we fret that kind of D7 chord with uh, open high E string and uh, F sharp on the bass and we play it with our thumb and with index finger not single notes, just the highest part of the chord so and then these notes one and two and three so then open high string open D string fret 4 on the A string and we that A note again and it means that we returned to A chord here so one and two and three and four and one and here is the new bar one and two and three and four and one maybe it looks pretty complicated but it's not hard to learn it and play so we uh, we fret these notes here fret 4 on the D and uh, fret 4 on the high E with these fingers index finger and ring finger and you play the D and the high E and then fret the same strings but on fret 5 2 and and at the same moment you should fret fret 4 on the high E with your index finger like this because then you have to do pull off here and then lift your index finger and play high E string again one two and three and and then fret one on the D pull off fret 4 on the A 1, 2, 3 and fret 2 on the G again and then two bass notes the A string and the low E boom boom so I'm gonna play this blues from E7 chord and the last notes you play here fret 2 on the low E string and fret 3 on the low E string too and you return to the A string and here we can start playing our blues again from the beginning and that's what I'm gonna play in slow tempo and you'll have tab on your screen and you can play this blues with me one two three four
Thank you for watching and if you want to play another Legendary Blues, you can watch this video.